Right then guys, how's it going? Happy New Year. Hope you all had a fantastic party last night or if you stayed in, I hope you enjoyed it. My tree is looking a little worse for wear up there. Um, we went down to the quayside and watched the fireworks which was great. Today, I'm hoping Newcastle United can have a good start to 2020. We are taking on Leicester at home. Obviously, we know how well Leicester are doing this season. Um, we've had some tough games over the Christmas period. I'm still very thankful that we grabbed some points against Crystal Palace, because if not, coming into this game, um, I don't know how it's going to go. Obviously, we've been doing very well at home, um, but unfortunately, Everton had picked themselves up after a poor start and beat us not too long ago. Um, this month, we've got some more tough games. We've got Leicester, Wolves... Chelsea and Everton again. So where the points are coming from this month, I'm not 100% sure, but get out there, New Year's Day, put the effort out there, hopefully we can pick up some sort of reward. So fingers crossed it goes well. Um, I'm not awfully hungover, but we're not getting to the game too early today, pretty much just heading down there straight for kickoff. When I find out the team lineups, I'll let you know. Right then, team lineups are out. I'm relatively opt optimistic to be fair. Muto up front is obviously a change, but with Carroll off the bench, who knows what he can do. I'm happy to see Manquillo back. Defence Fernandez, hopefully he'll bring a bit of structure to the back as we were a little bit all over the shop against Everton. And as for their team, no Jamie Vardy. I mean, I've definitely got to take that as a plus. Having said that, Ian Nacho, I think he's he's done all right recently, so I'm not counting my eggs before the hatch, but I think you've got to say no, Jamie Vardy is definitely a positive. Who knows, maybe Muto will get a hat. Chances for Leicester. Bravka making some good saves. Jordan, come on, finish it! Finish, finish it! it! Put it in! No way. Look at Muto, man. How's he done? Nice. He's through on goal, man. Our first real chance of the game. Joe Linton through on goal. He's got to hit it earlier. He's held onto it too long, hits it off Schmeichel, can't nod it in. Oh god. It's got a big clear, obviously. Oh. Hey! Hey! Give it to him! Get it in! I'm starting to get into it a bit. Oh, fuck off! Perez. Oh, didn't mention him earlier, didn't want to jinx it. Didn't work. Mistake at the back. He picks it up, goes round one, slots it in. We were just, I mean, Leicester have been the better team so far this game, but we were just starting to get into it as well. Ten minutes left of the first half. I mean, it was a fantastic goal. Madison has just absolutely hammered it into the top corner. Defensive issues at the back. Shocking. Just giving the ball away. Passing it across the back of our box. Well, it's absolutely mental. You know, we've dropped 
done it, Clark. It would realistically have done fantastic. Clark was scoring the goals, he'd done nothing wrong, he'd been playing well. Yes, I would say Lejeune and Shaw are better players, but they've come back in and the last few games they haven't looked amazing. You've got to wonder what Clark's thinking sitting on the bench after well he played and then just gets dropped. Scrappy defending at the back from us, they should, they should be 3 0 up in the first half, yeah. We've literally got a few minutes to hold on till half time and then try and sort it out in the dressing room because it, it's, it's not been good. Well then, half time, not a lot to say, I've already said it. Defensively, we're having an absolute nightmare. As I say, I think players like Clark must feel very hard done to the fact that Lejeune and Shaw have come in, they haven't been great in the last few games. They've also had to make two subs, Willems and Mankiw have both gone off with injuries. So we haven't got much option to change it in the setting half either. Let's hope Bruce had a good chat with them at half time. Shelby's coming off, Longstaff's coming on, that's all the subs used up. It's going to be a very tough setting half. It couldn't get any worse. Fuck, 10 seconds into the setting half. Shaw's gone down injured. He's now gone off. Down to 10 men. <laughs> And we're with no subs left. Shelby must have been injured when he went off at half time because otherwise, why would you do it? Four injuries in a game in 45 minutes. <laughs> what a nice big save from the crowd, triple save from the Kafka. Oh, still down to 10 men though. It's good to see the lads fighting for it, but we've got a long way to go. 3-0 Leicester, 5 minutes to go, Chowdhury, who's been getting booed all game, has just stuck one in the top corner, we've literally just sat and watched Leicester pass the ball around for the last 40 minutes, since we've done it down to 10 men, um, they are literally just passed the ball around and we're sat here watching it, it's just been uh, one of those unfortunately. Good finish by the kid in all fairness, but I mean they've not even bothered attacking in this second half. I had nothing to say because nothing's happened. We've literally just sat and watched uh, Leicester pass the ball around the ten-man team. And right at the end, the final nail in the coffin, uh, Chowdhury bangs one in. Top corner. Well there you go. Full time, 3-0 loss. What can I really say about that game? Was I probably unjustified, optimistic before this game? Yes. I think I was hoping more than anything that we might do something, but we were playing against Leicester. We gave away two sloppy goals. That was all our fault. Second half, down to 10 men. Watching them, oh, scrappy bottle of water. Watching them pass the ball around for 45 minutes. Like, you can't blame our players for that. Uh, we've just seen a stat on the BBC. Our player to get the most successful passes was John Joe Shelby. He went off at half time. So that tells you how much of the ball we had in the second half. None. Um, but as we know, Leicester are a very good side. I was <laughs> slightly happy that Vardy wasn't playing. It made no difference at all. Um, mistakes at the back cost us, unfortunately. I don't want to say it, but that's basically what happened. Um, Joe Linton with a chance early on. Our prob our only like what you would call a goal an opportunity to get a goal and, and we didn't score it if we'd scored that who knows maybe it could have been different but it wasn't to be um bit of a break now from the home games a few weeks i think but obviously as i've said we've got some tough fixtures we've got rochdale at the weekend maybe we can get through to the next round of the of the cup um and then it's wolves chelsea everton so it's not going to be a good month for us, or it's going to be a tough month. Who knows what we can do? Fingers crossed the injuries aren't bad. Fingers crossed Shelby's all right. Shaw, Willems, Mankio. Well, enjoy your New Year's Day of what's left of it. Thank you for watching, as always. And I'll catch you later.